to the hotel a bit early because he's competing in the trial tomorrow. So in some respects, he's as determined as ever. Yeah, exactly. Now, interestingly enough, talking Grand Prix, and what else could we talk when we've got these guys here? A local lad, Derek Faults, a keen motocrosser, he used to ride modern and a very accomplished a uh, classic uh, scrambler on a CZ and a Boltaco. Derek told me just a few minutes ago, and we should have remembered most of this as, as Scots, but it's 44 years ago since the two, the only GP ever held in Scotland, and it was a 250 Grand Prix in 1978 at Colmartin. And there'll be people here who'll remember that and who were there, and uh, I suppose we're quite proud of that, that we had a, a Grand Prix here in Scotland in 1978. Sorry? Yeah, we had a British Championship there as well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tim Pomeroy, another famous American. We, we, we have here at, uh, this weekend in the audience, Jeff Shuttleworth, who was very heavily involved in the Kendall Classic Motorcycle Club for many years. And uh, I can't remember how long ago, Jeff, uh, that Jim Pomeroy was going to be our guest of honour. Yeah, and it was all arranged for Jim to come over and then he was tragically killed, as you know. Now, something I'd like to do, and it was something that Brad had mentioned to Willie Brown, a, a, one of our stalwarts of our club. He mentioned to Willie Brown that it might be interesting to get Heike and Roger and himself to ask each other questions that they might have fancied asking back in the day. But obviously the competition was intense, they were great friends, there was massive rivalry on the track as you know, but off the track they were good friends, but there might just be some questions they'd like to ask. It might be about the machines that their opposition rode, or just about anything at all. So I'm going to start with Roger. Roger, is there anything you would like to ask your rivals, Heike, or Brad, or Graham, any questions about back in the day? Does anything come to mind? That's a, that's a tough question. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, May, maybe I should ask him, why do they want to beat me? <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so that, yeah, that's a very really good question, Roger. Well, we'll go over to Brad first. Brad, how do you answer that question? Why did you want to beat Roger? Well, you know, you always want to beat the best. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. And Roger helped me so much in my career when I came to Europe the first years, and I lived with him for a while and trained with him, and and you know, then it's even more that you want to beat somebody that helps you and trains with you and gives you everything that they can to, to make you better. And if I didn't beat him in the end, he would be sad that I didn't get that good. You know? <laughs> Another good answer. Hey, these guys are sharp. Well done. Super. Now, we'll give the exact same question to Heike. And <coughs> Heike, is there anything you would like to ask Roger? Graham or Brad, anything about when you were racing back in the day that you would have liked to have asked back then? Okay, that's here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling in, uh, when you are driving after me and eating very much in the uh, <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't like it, and, uh, but it was uh, it was difficult to stay in front of you. So <laughs> unfortunately, I, I had to to eat you just uh, quite a few times, more more times than I liked. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I think it was uh, Guy Fontaine, I think. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.